Maria and Sibongile decided to fly kites that they had made in a technology class. Maria was so proud as her kite flew higher than Sibongile's. Sibongile could not allow a girl to beat him, so he let more string go so that his kite would fly higher. The kites flew higher and higher into the air until they could not see the kites anymore and could not see whose kite was higher. We are going to use our trigonometry skills to help them find out whose kite was the highest. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate height using the sine ratio, Use the sine key on your calculator and calculate a length using the theorem of Pythagoras. Let's go back to Sibongile and Maria. We need information before we can work out whose kite is higher. Maria used an astrolabe and found out that this angle was 30 degrees and this angle was 40 degrees. She also bought a ball of string that was 40 meters long and Sibongile had bought a ball of string that was 30 meters long. Now we know that to use trigonometry we need to work in a right angle triangle. To create a right angle triangle, draw this vertical line here. So this will be your 90 degrees. And then call your triangle, triangle A, B, C. Now we need another right angle triangle with the information about Sibongile's kite. Let's call this triangle D, E, F. Now, to use a trigonometric ratio, we need to identify the hypotenuse, opposite side, and adjacent side. Is there a side that you think is easy to identify immediately? I like to fill in the hypotenuse first. The hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. Which side is opposite the known angle 30 degrees? AC, the height of triangle ABC, is opposite the 30 degrees angle. So we call AC the opposite side. In triangle DEF, the height DE is opposite the 40 degrees angle. Which side is next to or adjacent to the angle whose size we know? BC is the side next to the 30 degrees angle, so it is the adjacent side. And in triangle DEF, EF is adjacent to the 40 degrees angle. Now that we have identified the sides, how do we use them? Can we use the tan ratio again? Let us see what we have. We are trying to find the height of the kites. In triangle ABC, AC represents the height of the kite and AC is the opposite side. So far so good. 
The unknown side is the opposite side. Let's check the known side, the side whose length we know. In triangle ABC, we know that AB is 40 meters long and AB is the hypotenuse. In triangle DEF, we know that DF is 30 meters long and it is also the hypotenuse of the triangle. We cannot use the tan ratio as we do not know the length of the adjacent side. We need to define a new trig ratio so that we can solve this problem. Mathematicians defined the ratio sine theta is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Let's fill that in on triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, the angle is 30 degrees. So, sine of 30 degrees, which is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse, is equal to AC divided by A. B. So, sine 30 degrees is equal to AC divided by 40. To find the length of AC, we apply our knowledge of equations and multiply both sides by 40. So, AC is equal to 40 times sine 30 degrees. Now it's calculator time. Remember that with a Dell calculator you press the keys in the same order as you say the words. Press 40 times sine 30 equals 20. For another calculator such as an FX model you will press 40 times 30 sine equals 20. So AC is 20 meters. Remember what AC represents. This means that Maria's kite is 20 meters high. But wait, we need to add on the height from Maria's hand to the ground. If Maria is an average height of, let's say, about 1,5 meters, then Maria's kite is actually 20 plus 1,5, equal to 21,5 meters above the ground. Is her kite higher than Sibongile's? Let's do more trig to find out. Sine of 40 degrees is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. So here it is DE divided by DF. Now sine of 40 degrees will be equal to DE divided by 30. By now, you should know how to solve this. Multiply both sides by 30. And you get DE is equal to 30 times sine 40 degrees. As sine 40 is a trigonometric ratio, we use a calculator to find the answer. 30 times sine 40 equals... And on another calculator, such as an FX model, you press 30 times 40 sine and then equals. On both calculators, you should get an answer of so DE is equal to 19,28 meters. This looks promising for Maria as her kite was 21,5 meters high. But we still need to add Sibongile's height. 
If Sibongile's hand is 1,6 meters from the ground, then the height of his kite is 19,28 meters plus 1,6 meters, which equals 20,88 meters above the ground. This means that with this set of information, Maria's kite is slightly higher than Sibongile's. Back to our example. If a child is standing directly underneath Maria's kite, how far away is the child from Maria? What length shows this on our diagram? Do you see that we need to find the length of BC? What do we know? For now, let's ignore Maria's height and work with AC, which we know to be 20 meters high. We have two sides and want to find the length of the missing side. Can you think of a way to find the length of BC? Did you think of the theorem of Pythagoras? This is a very useful theorem to remember. How does the theorem of Pythagoras work? In a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. A B squared is equal to A C squared plus C B squared. Using this theorem of Pythagoras, fill in the lengths on your triangle. 40 squared is equal to 20 squared plus BC squared. So 1,600 is equal to 400 plus BC squared. We want to find the length of BC, so we want BC alone. We therefore minus 400 So BC squared is equal to 1,200. Rounded off to one decimal place, BC is 34,6 meters. Now it is your turn to see if you have achieved the outcomes for this lesson. Copy down the information from this example. Cherise is very excited as her parents have just bought a new television set. They want to know if the television will fit in the cabinet that they have in the lounge at home. The diagonal of the TV is equal to 60 centimeters and this angle is equal to 40 degrees. Use trigonometry to help Cherise find the height of the television. Now for the second part. The height of the shelf in the cabinet is 70 centimeters. Will the TV fit in the shelf? Until next time, from me, Reno. Bye bye.